Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Fastest what? Is there a top line? <laughs> right, let's do a. Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I am not Wang. I am not Gedroid. I am not Acaster. I am Adam from FWCI. This is Taskmaster Season 9, Episode 5. Another spoon. Okay. What about it? What happened to the first spoon? First of all, if you do want to watch a full-length version of this reaction, go to patreon.com slash fwci. That's where you can get it for $5 reduce a month. I will be doing that for this season and probably all the other seasons after this. It's probably going to happen, but you never make promises. So it's a prob. I love David Baddiel. I absolutely love that man. <laughs> so, I was so hyped for him coming into this. I was like, oh, this is going to be good, blah, 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 blah. And he is just farted his way through every but i think he is trying as well that's the funny thing joe brand obviously she isn't trying and it's hilarious and it's amazing and i love it it's the whole cast the whole cast of this taskmaster series i'm absolutely loving ed the gambler gamble loving him loving rose matafeo and uh katie wicks I, I get her appeal. When she started the first few episodes, I was like, I don't know if I'm really getting Katie Wicks, but now I get it. So let's jump into the episode. This is Taskmaster, season nine, episode five. Another spoon. Please give a huge round of applause for David Medeo. Dumbass. <laughs> diabetic. D maybe diabetic as well. Whoa, whoa, that's a, that's a, that's, that's not a Wicks. That's a, that's a, a Godlyman. I thought it was Mel for a second there. I was like, I nearly pissed in my pants. And he wishes he could meet his hero, the singer <laughs> Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. It's the Alex, really? Pink is your hero? Very sadly, Katie Wicks has... Uh, uh... <laughs> Died? <laughs> Got ill and went downhill? What's going on? No, but she's not dead. Okay, good. Thanks for clearing that up. He's getting better already, and she'll join us later in the series. Um, but in the meantime, we've been rejoined by an absolute champion. She's the winner of Series 7 of Taskmaster. Godlyman Bosch! This is presented in Bosch Vision. Yeah, look at her. She's hyped. Love this. Love this edition. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm keen to see it. I do wish it was Mel, though. I would have loved that. Nice to bring in the best defunct thing. Defunct. So things that, although defunct, are the best, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. The best defunct thing? Super International Cricket from the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This absolute masterpiece right here. And let's not forget, when you bowl the ball and you think it's got LBW and you click the button to make the guy go, How's that? Amazing. Amazing. They don't make it anymore. That makes it defunct. If you've never played Super International Cricket, you know what? Fuck it. I like a good joke. Go spend your time tracking it down and playing it. I'm sure you'll have a great time. <laughs> I have the nostalgia for it. Love it. Uh, my defunct item is a, a sharp spin filled with used syringes from my flatmate. What? A sharp spoon with used syringes? Is your flatmate a heroin addict? <laughs> <laughs> no, she has arthritis. Oh, keep oh. it light, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> In what way is it a defunct... You can't reuse really the syringes, it has to be literally... It's pretty defunct, I agree, I agree. Thanks for getting us off to such a fluffy... <laughs> <laughs> light entertainment start. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher Nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that thing? <laughs> I don't know if I want to even see how it works. Please don't show me. You still can buy nuts in a shell. Yeah, I've cracked a nut yeah. before. Christmas you always yeah. crack a nut, right? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> My granddad used to be able to crack a walnut just with his hand. No. Yeah. Other than that, wasn't a very nice man. <laughs> <laughs> what did Katie bring in? Um, can you fill a minute talking about it? <laughs> a five pound Woolworths voucher. There it is. Okay. People don't use these anymore? 
People of a certain age that are still grieving. Really? Oh, really? It's like an old thing, is it? Pick and mix, pick and mix has gone. It's gone. Yeah. Fuck, pick and mix would have been a good one to just make your as your uh, entrance. I have brought a an extensive guide to the Millennium Dome. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a big thing in London, isn't it? It's the O2, right? Yeah, yeah. eBay, it was £18. <laughs> Gambled and lost there, Gamble. It's a lovely picture of me with my cat, Monkey. No, don't tell me the cat's dead. <laughs> this is a morbid first <laughs> prize task. What the fuck, guys? It looks like Monkey's being held against his will, though. Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> The worst defunct thing for me is a bin full of old syringes. <laughs> or the most defunct thing. No, no, it's not most no, defunct it's, thing, it's no, best defunct it's thing. best defunct thing. See, so so they're like, all defunct, okay. and how do we rank them then? Yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. That's language! That's crazy! <laughs> I'm going to give three points to Joe Brand. <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck. What's his name? <laughs> David Baddiel. Oh, Monkey. <laughs> Put some respect on Monkey's name, all right? Well done, David Baddiel. Well earned five the points. I love your goes to the spirit of poor Monkey. <laughs> Come on. Hello, Kerry Godleyman. What are you doing here? Lasso, Alex. Lasso, Lasso, Lasso. Let's, that's a lasso. Uh, it's interesting because Katie Wicks was in Ted Lasso. Here we go. You're on this. Fastest wins. Your time starts a, now. Fastest what? Is there a top line? <laughs> Bro, let's do a. <laughs> David! Would you like to do this? <laughs> yeah, you make the thing wider, I reckon. We dig into the old uh, lasso lasso thing. Oh! <laughs> Rather that, not. That a New Zealand thing? Well, we don't. Yeah? It's lasso. <laughs> Do you want to see some lassoing? Yeah. yeah, I want to see some lassoing. Let's go. Fuck you, Davies. Oh, I know what you do. You get it going, and then yep. you slowly let it out, and then... Not quite, not quite. Did it say you have to stand behind the line? I'm guessing I probably did. Surely it did. Can you lean forward a bit more? <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Great. All right, Godlyman, how are you going to explain this? <laughs> Best of luck, Kerry. I don't know how I'm going to defend that. Yeah. I don't know what to say. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> you do the thing. I've seen the count. You, 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 you get like, all of it involved. And then you go, wallop. That's yeah. how you do it. <laughs> no defence for Katie Wicks at all. Just fuck you, bitch. <laughs> the Bosch Queen is back. Just thinking I might move that line. Yeah, good work, Joe, good work. What? Oh, they all moved the line. Uh, Thanks, Joe. Good work, Joe. Come on, Rose. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, good work, Rose. Yeehaw, all right. Gamby. Oh wait, we haven't seen Dave, have we? Fine, so you can with the line, same in darts. Tick. Um. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't think that's the rules in darts, Alex. Katie took seven and a half minutes. Ed, nine and a half minutes. <laughs> if only we had the right rope. <laughs> Here's Uncle Dave. Oh yeah, he's got good good form. Uh I wonder if there's another way around this. What are you <laughs> what are you doing with that? What the fuck? I have to do the spoons idea. <laughs> another spoon! Why? What are you doing? What are you doing, you stupid fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He has just gone into like one. <laughs> He's just got like one idea. He's like, the rope isn't heavy enough. We need to do something with how much the rope weighs. It's not. 
just, it's not just that. Badil, come on. Okay, now just sort of jiggle a bit. That's a keep jiggling. That's it. <laughs> ah, well, you know what? He actually wound him back in, so. One poire? I feel really bad about what I said about Katie now. <laughs> <laughs> to get inside David's mind when he goes, I'm going to put another spoon. <laughs> It's a terrible idea, David. Fucking moronic decision. Slightly longer than all four of the others combined. <laughs> no. 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 Okay, well, it's the usual. Then we've got two points to... <laughs> the usual. But five points to Joe Brown! Uh, well done, Joe. Holy shit. Is this Joe's night? Make the most accurate and inventive egg timer. You have 10 minutes to plan your egg timer. Accurate, though. Alex will boil an egg for as long as your egg timer. Oh, no. <laughs> Delights his eggs runny, but not too runny. Oh, does he indeed? <laughs> Pre-existing timing devices, that include like a watch. Yes. <laughs> Water, so it's six minutes of dripping onto your head. So that is Chinese water talk. Yeah, yeah. What's the number right now? We should have um, Sally Phillips here representing Katie Wicks. Can I get a birthday card just in case? Mm -hmm. Get one second there. <laughs> this is a difficult task. My instinct is to ridicule David for asking yeah. if a watch is a timing device. <laughs> yeah, you should. When Rose announced that she was going to use a mint. Yeah. When Roger Bannister broke the four mint model. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, Christ, this looks... I feel bad for David right here. The fact that he even has to try and do this. That's gonna be one very well boiled egg. <laughs> Is the water just gonna ev evaporate? <laughs> I've stopped. I've stopped. Mm. I mean, it looks hard boiled, but. So I guess the goal is make it runny, but... You are under the impression that any amount of sand... <laughs> <laughs> ...will always be three minutes. Well... <laughs> ...cook a three-pound lobster, 18 minutes and four seconds. Fucking hell. <laughs> David invented a lobster timer. <laughs> I want you to be the timing device. I want you to put a Malteser in your mouth. <laughs> Alex looks so put out by that idea. Every second. <laughs> yeah, this is 360 Maltesers. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's going to take way longer than three minutes to get through all of those. Does he only have to do the one line or can he... That's huge. Yeah, they're massive grapes. What the fuck, man? There we go. They didn't make any sense, Ed. You suck. That was terrible. And that would have been exactly six minutes, which is the perfect soft-boiled egg. So he must have lagged behind on the eating speed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rocket science, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do this just so he could blame Alex Horn? Good strategy, by the way. Thank you for your egg timer. Thank you. What the hell? Oh, my God. I mean, is that, they said water torture, is that how that stuff works? I've never, I know waterboarding would be messed up, but water just dripping on you? That, I never understood how that could be like so mentally hectic. There's a, there is a bit of give, but I wouldn't call it runny. All right, oh, Godlyman, you're winning, good work. Yeah, I, was. I don't mind telling you, it gave me a weird happy feeling in my tummy. <laughs> yeah, see, I thought that would happen. Why did we need the fish? I think it was just a bit of finesse, but now you've brought it up, I feel like I'm going to mark Katie down. No, no, no. <laughs> it was really inventive. It was the same system as David's, really, but just slightly better executed. Well, that's not very nice. I didn't fucking torture you. <laughs> Dear Taskmaster, here are some instructions. Bring a pot of water to the boil. Reduce to simmer. Then place your egg into pot. 
Ooh, this is quite clever, Rose. Most of the candles burn out to be flush with the cake top. Take your egg and place it in cold, cold water. Most of the candles are flush with the cake. He likes it runny, but not too runny. That looks pretty damn good. That looks pretty damn good. Well done. I don't know. I mean, yeah, okay, you need the candles. My first thought was, uh, she'll be making him eat that whole cake in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the sound of a room full of adults <laughs> being excited by a boiled egg. I love a good boiled egg. Just before it's boiling, call Joe Brand. And did those feet... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Well done, well done. Again, she can time it out perfectly. Are we gonna see another deliciously gooey egg? <laughs> Where the fuck is she? Oh, it's another pretty good egg. Pretty sweet egg to me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna agree with that, Taskmaster. I'm gonna award the top spot yes. to the egg that I visually approved of. The greatest. The rose egg. And that was Joe Brand's. The Joe so egg. It's another five points to Joe Brand. Wow. Joe is dominating this episode. She's going for the dub. She's getting the win. She's getting a bunch of defunct things. <laughs> Enjoy your bin full of um, syringes. All right. We haven't had one like this where they bring in a random person for a while. Hello. Hello. Oh, and it's a team one. Oh, here we go. Get oh, to yeah. know this person. You will be tested on your knowledge of this person in 10 minutes time. Yes, awesome. Let's go. The person will tell the truth, lie, then brag in that or order, but not necessarily starting truth, with the truth. Truth, lie, brag. Oh, but not starting. TLB, TLB, truth, lie, brag. Truth, lie, brag. Look for the brag. I'm creating a system, the teams. Oh, yeah? To crack the code. And this would be really hard being in a team. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, I'm modern day Jesus Christ. That sounds like a brag to me. I think that's true. <laughs> I am training to be a doctor. Did you go uh, to university? I didn't, but I've learned a hell of a lot more in life than I would have ever learned at university. Great brag. <laughs> How old are you? Nearly 40. Oh, and they're going to get quizzed on this afterwards? Oh, I feel like Paul Sinha should be here for this one. I live in a three-storey house on a farm. Do you live with some farmers? No. Do you farm? Yes. <laughs> that was that worked well. Alex Horn is nearly laughing at this. Please leave the lab and head over to the exam area. Far out. That is so complex. It, it was like one one person doing it by themselves and they figured out a system. I reckon you'd be good, but damn. Goodbye, magician. So we were supposed to actually find out real stuff about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to find out real stuff about it. Yes. To try and guess instinctively to see if I had the power. <laughs> Lazy bitch. <laughs> why are you in an umpire? Uh, why are you in an umpire chair, Alex? Gareth Simon Callian. What is the person's name? Gareth Simon Callian. Well, he gave us one name, which was Carlos Edwards. It's the only time he gave us yeah, a name. Yeah, well, let's so we use no that idea. then. <laughs> We know so. if he's had therapy or not. Why aren't they asking about that? <laughs> I think he's had some work done. You think he has work done? Let's see if he does it. Should we go for 42? It's the only yeah. number. Yeah, let's go for. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> Submerged in a deep ocean. Being plunked in the middle of the deep ocean. Final question What is the person's party work. trick? Please do the trick. He doesn't really get on with his parents. Will that be coming up at any point in the exam? <laughs> Her party trick is to talk about pants. Our answer is a physical offer. Oh, God, really? I can make my tongue really big. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Alex is like, oh, hello. That was a weird task, the way it all played out at the end. Team of two got one and a half right, the team of three got three and a half right. Wow. Bell on the same person every time in their team because there were three, so it was easier to work yeah, out. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. 
there's only two of us. That's yeah. not why you didn't have a system! No, yeah! Because <laughs> 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 you just walked True. in, didn't give a fuck, and then left again! <laughs> Edge, Rose, and Katie, four points. Okay, four points to the team. Yeah, that's fair enough. I thought Ed, Katie, and uh, Rose would have definitely done better. I'm offering up a bonus point. <gasps> what? Do you want to tell the, the... They were more excited about the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Best replicates the magician's big tongue. Oh, my God. I don't know if that looks big or not. <laughs> Joe is winning this. Joe, this is your night. Joe's in the lead with 16 points. Woo! Build the highest tower of bricks on the table behind you. You must stay on your spot and use your litter pickers at all times. What? Fucking hell, Alex. What is this? There you go, everyone. Christ. <laughs> They're so disorientated, all of them are. Oh, Gamble Stork! Gamble! Look at those. Look at that towering inferno of brick. Oh, no! Fuck you, Matafeo! Oh. <laughs> Listen to it. Well, I freeze framed the moment when the whistle blew, and I can show it to you now. She has two stacked. Oh. I've had a very rough episode. <laughs> you had a quite, quite, long tantrum. Quite rightly. You're not even in this show. <laughs> <laughs> that way up, Joe Brand gets three points. Two that way up, uh, joint winners with five points. Rose. Joe Brand, you won this. You have a win under your belt. You could not give a shit, but well done. Joe on 77 and then David on 65. 65. <laughs> but... <laughs> Fucking hell, David. You are way behind. It's Joe Brown! Yeah! I'm so happy for her that she got the win. <laughs> yes, you got a lot of shit prizes. Who are we? Why are we here? The answer to any of these questions is not tie another spoon on it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he keep doing that? Why did he do it? <laughs> Chucks it all in the bin. Amazing. Alex always cries after the credits, does he now? And she's keeping the nutcracker. Good work. Fun episode, a, a wild godlyman appears. I don't know if Katie is back by the next episode, but I'm probably about to watch it. So yeah, I think I'll find out very soon. But wow, love to see godlyman on there. Um, interesting to see how they do handle something with like an un unexpected absence in the way that uh, Katie Wicks is not on there. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I'd say I hope she's okay, but she would have recovered and then gone through COVID and everything else since then. So. I still hope she's okay. Started off on a pretty uh, dark note <laughs> on a number of different occasions. Greg had that weird story about uh, his, one of his relatives who was not a nice man. We learned about Rose's housemate's uh, arthritis <laughs> that needs to have injections. And there was something else as well in there that was uh, equally as disturbing. But the first task was the lasso one and David Baddiel. What are you doing? The weird, the scary and weird thing about that is I can see his, um, I can see where his brain went but the fact that his brain then couldn't look at any other possibilities makes it absolutely terrifying that he is walking the streets <laughs> as he is why there's like i get the spoons there about the right weight he was very focused on the weight of that lasso and by the way it is lasso not lasso the egg timer task that was that seemed really really difficult if you look at it as like an egg timer but Joe did a great job like she had her own way of memorizing what three minutes is and I think it turned out pretty damn good for her and for Rose as well so that was interesting to see how 
bad some people just epically failed at that one and how well others kind of just, you know, dominated that task. And I love the one where they had to get to know the guy and then got asked the questions about it. I agree that, that having the three definitely had an advantage. It was a huge advantage, to be completely honest. So I thought that was a little bit bullshit. Um, and I'm surprised that they didn't do better with all of that information in hindsight as well but i just like when they bring in anybody else like the uh impress the mayor i love that one and uh oh, who can forget rose what was her name rosemary rosa roslin roslin is a nightmare <laughs> But that was a lot of fun. You know what? Respect to um, Joe and David for getting one and a half questions right in that when they had no idea what the hell they were even talking about. And the live task, oh, that looked just completely disorientating. And I guess that's the point. You can't really get more than like two <laughs> bricks, but they give them so many bricks, you know? But I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already, or go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want to watch along the full episode with me as we hurtle our way uncontrollably through Taskmaster Season 9 onto Season 10, Champion of Champions. COVID seasons are around the corner. I think I'm going to do New Zealand at some point. I want to do Norway at some point. I feel like there's a second season of uh, the Australian one coming up at some point as well. So there's going to be tons of Taskmaster. I know there's a new season happening like right now. I think by the time the next season comes out, I'm probably going to be caught up. And then I can watch the new season along with all of you. When I reacted to Ted Lasso... Um, I did the first two seasons just before the third season came out and it was amazing getting to know everybody in the comments and stuff like that throughout those first two seasons and then getting to share it week to week when season three came out. So very excited to do that with Taskmaster. I hope you join me for it. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace. He's the Taskmaster. Beating my heart faster. Took it with the either, with the either, we here. He's the taskmaster. Beating my heart faster. With the, with the either, with the either, we here.